There's an economic theory out there known as there's no such thing as a free lunch. Or if you speak German, Tin Stoffel. Tin Stoffel states that any action you take for monetary gain comes at a cost. You must perform labor, give something up, or otherwise use your valuable time to achieve this gain. We must also consider the other activities you could have been doing with this time if you weren't spending it making money. That's called opportunity cost. Every freshman Economics 101 student hears Tin Stoffel and thinks it's this huge epiphany. Well, it's true, if you find $5 on the ground, you still have to bend over and pick it up, and that takes time and uses calories, and you're adding the risk of blowing your back out, so yeah, there's no such thing as a f Dude, please shut up. When Portuguese philosopher Milton Friedman theorized Tin Stoffel in 1817, he forgot to factor in Sigma Male Grind Set, which totally defeats his thesis. In this episode of the Freeloader Challenge, I contest the Tin Stoffel theory by demonstrating that we can monetize our downtime to make serious bags with little effort. My opportunity cost to get this money is the time I would have spent reading other people roasting politicians on Twitter. Instead, I earned $481 in Amazon gift cards, $119 in virtual Visa gift cards, $250 in physical Visa gift cards, $117 in PayPal payouts, $211 in Bitcoin, and $134 in Tron and Tether from counter scamming scammers. You should check that video out too, it's funny. This totals $1,312, and I have another $60 in accounts receivable that I expect in the next week. It will all be worth somewhat less after I liquidate these gift cards, but this will all nonetheless be set aside toward my ultimate goal of making a real estate investment, thus completing the freeloader challenge and establishing Theta Gang's fiefdom. The tasks I completed required some effort, but the demands on my time were minimal considering this relatively large reward. I call this an almost free lunch. Here's how it's done. We're going to use a series of apps and online resources to earn money that fall neatly into these buckets. Focus groups and promotion churning are the two kings of freeloading. Then we've got clinical trials, which is a little more involved, and finally surveys for people who aren't into the others. We'll also have a couple honorable mentions if you happen to be a cashier or a driver by profession. First, I want to start with the two kings and jump into the focus groups and promotion churning buckets. We're going to look at the websites user interviews and free cash. Out of my $1,312 freeloader gain, about 900 came from these two. A bit of background, I've tried well over 100 methods of so-called free money. 90% are all scams or a waste of time, 9% are good in certain situations, and then the remainder, that 1%, are the kings of freeloading. Free cash and user interviews are that royalty who stand head and shoulders above the rest. I'm not even going to rank them number one and two. There is no reason to put these two kings against each other. They're complementary, like NATO and the Warsaw Pact. We'll look at user interviews first because I already have the images I need and it's just more convenient for me. This is a focus group website where you get matched up with companies who want to know your opinion on products or services as part of their market research. For participating, you typically get compensated between $50 and $100 for about an hour of your time. There are studies that pay more or less, but $50 to $100 an hour is typical. So all of you guys saying in the comments that freeloading is harder than actually getting a job, you guys can continue getting called into work by your manager on your day off because Russ is too hungover and called in sick, so now you have to cover his shift for $8 an hour minus tax. But if you're going to do that, add some focus groups for $50 an hour minimum to your life, and we're not paying tax on that either. Over the past two months, I participated in eight focus groups on various topics and made $680. The highest paying one was from a well-known cryptocurrency exchange that wanted to know how they should implement an NFT platform to help new users get acquainted. For my input, they paid me $150 for an hour. I did several more studies on crypto. NFTs are actually a popular topic for focus groups, so if you have ever bought, sold, minted, or even heard about NFTs, you can get paid for talking about them. If you guys watch me regularly, you'll know I think NFTs will have their place in our future, but so many companies right now just want to sell pictures of Taylor Swift for $2,000 each. They don't understand that we want the NFTs to actually do something, like act as season passes to events before it's worth spending money on. Otherwise, I can just right-click and save instead of buying it. I'll buy a New York Jets NFT if it gets me access to all preseason games, and that should be cheap because they hardly ever win. But no, I'm not spending $400 in Ethereum on a JPEG of the New York Jets logo. Believe it or not, companies need to hear this because they're confused right now, and they're willing to pay you handsomely for setting them straight. The lowest paying focus group was for me to take pictures of my dog so a company can test their app designed to recognize if a dog is too fat and needs medical attention. For $5, I spent about two minutes uploading a few pictures of my dog, and they said she's almost fat. Good dog. And finally, from a Facebook ad, I signed up to one in-person interview in Reston, Virginia regarding augmented reality. They brought me into this half-built room, gave me this ergonomic baton thing, and put glasses on me. I said this is it, 
finally someone is making a zombie slayer in augmented reality. I was ready to crush some zombs and then get the name of this company so I could invest. But alas, there were no zombies. They had me stare at this one bare wall around the corner here and tracked my eyes as they gave me this music festival to stare at. It might as well have been a projector instead of augmented reality. I don't know what the baton was for, but I imagine it's to check how my grip responds to what I'm seeing. For my participation, they promised me a $60 gift card that they haven't emailed me yet. After tolls and gasoline, my total profit would be about $52. That's a big bite, so virtual focus groups are certainly my favorite. All in all, focus groups and user interviews specifically are undeniably essential tools in every freeloader's portfolio. User interviews just implemented a referral program this week that I'm really excited about, so if you want to get paid to participate in market research, use my referral link in the description. You'll get an extra $10 added to your first payout, and I'll also get $10 that I'll withdraw separately, not associated with the freeloader challenge. Of course, I reiterate my strong buy rating on focus groups and believe only a fool would miss this opportunity. Don't let me make it sound too good, though. To get those eight focus groups, I had to sign up to about 30 of them. Fortunately, sign up takes less than five minutes, but you should definitely expect to get rejected from about 80% of those you sign up to. Getting eight out of 30 is actually an above average ratio. Now we'll check out the other king, free cash. Over the past month on this website, I earned approximately $185, and over the previous three months, about $555. I made a detailed video on this website that I'll link here. To show you how powerful this website really is for freeloaders, the people I've referred to free cash have earned a collective $54,000 in about two months. Compare that to Adipole, where the people I referred earned a collective $9,580 in about eight months, and you'll see why free cash is my favorite. If you're curious, my referral rewards of 5% on free cash do not count toward the freeloader totals, and I'm just withdrawing it all as Litecoin to an unaffiliated account. If you want to be a bro, my affiliate link is in the description. As for how the website works, free cash is where advertisers pay you directly to play games or sign up to apps like Acorns or SoFi. Somewhere along the way, companies figured out that rather than pay a quarter million dollars for a broad marketing campaign on television or social media, it's cheaper just to pay people to try their product, and client retention is actually higher. Free Cash groups all those advertising campaigns together, and you as the user pick which ones you want to participate in. Once you complete an offer, you can withdraw in gift cards, PayPal, or my favorite, cryptocurrency. I'll walk you through how to get your first few hundred dollars and set up your own freeloader adventure. Here's what I recommend. First, we'll go to the Earn page and explore offers from advertising firm Ayet Studios. We will download the app Aspiration. This is an FDIC-insured digital-only bank that we can use to stuff our freeloader money into throughout the challenge. You'll get about $63 for downloading and depositing $10. If you deadass don't have $10, ask your mom. And if she won't give it to you, do surveys on Adipole or on Free Cash until you have $10. Since Aspiration is a bank account, it'll take a day or two to open, and you'll see the $63 in pending payouts on your profile screen for 30 days, and it'll pay out at the specified date, just like it does for me here with the survey app I downloaded. Then, in Lootably, once your Aspiration account is open, we will find the app Long Game. This is an app that gives you in-game coins based on your Aspiration account balance that you can cash in for about 8% APR if you use it regularly. I can't guarantee that scales evenly as your balance increases, but with a small account, 8% APR is what I'm getting by playing their little Mario Party mini-games. As we stuff money into Aspiration during the Freeloader Challenge, Long Game will give us the savings boost on our interest. And of course, you'll get $40.50 on free cash for downloading. So $103 so far. Now we are going to play a couple games to help fund our Aspiration account, which will in turn give us more rewards in Long Game. In Ayet once again, we will play the games Board Kings and Grand Mafia, and then from Ad Gems Offer Wall, we will complete Mafia City. It would be a lot of work to complete all the affiliated challenges on these, but within a week of putting in a few minutes every couple of hours, you'll be able to achieve the highlighted challenges and receive about $75. And finally, on either Ayet or the Free Cash exclusive offer, play Rise of Kingdoms. This one is actually really fun, and I left it on my phone after I completed the challenge instead of deleting the app like usual. Rise of Kingdoms is an easy $100 if you play for a few weeks. Find my city in the game named Mikey underscore millions, join my clan GMGK, and we will get you leveled up quickly so you can get paid. We can be a clan of freeloaders together. Offer Toro used to have a really fun Wall Street Bet spin-off game called Diamond Hands that has since disappeared. I'm kind of disappointed that it's gone. But no matter which offers you do, every time you select a challenge, do this immediately. Go back to the offer wall you just selected your challenge on and go to Pending Offers. Make sure your challenge is sitting there. 
This indicates that Freecash is tracking your conversion and knows you are doing the challenge. You don't want to find out later that there was a problem with the download. Make sure your participation in the challenge is being tracked from the get-go and you'll be in good shape. Boomer Meat demonstrated how to use Freecash very effectively to earn about $500 in a month by signing up to some high-paying challenges and referring his work associates for additional rewards. That's great freeloading. I left $65 on free cash so I can show you how to withdraw it as Bitcoin. Let's do that now by going to the Cash Out tab and indicating we want to withdraw it all as Bitcoin. These coins convert at a fixed rate of 1,000 coins to $1, so I'll do the whole $65 to my trust wallet as Bitcoin, and that's done. Overall, I reiterate my strong buy rating on free cash and strongly recommend freeloaders hop on board. Again, I recommend watching the complete video on this service. Don't miss out. If you have any questions about Freecash, ask me in the comments or ask the mods on the in-app support chat. Freecash and user interviews are undeniably the two kings, but there's a dark horse that can also make you a ton of money if you're patient and willing, selling your body as a subject in a clinical trial. In a previous episode, I tried to get malaria for over $3,000, but I got boxed out because I have too many dead nerves in my heart. I'm still on the lookout for other financially beneficial disease studies. But luckily for me, the only girl who watches my videos, her name is Jess on Instagram, sent me a link to a clinical trial in which a company wanted to design an at-home COVID test that's as accurate as in-lab tests. I think this company is a little late in the game because COVID is basically canceled at this point, but if I'm willing to get malaria for money, you better believe I'm willing to do some at-home COVID testing. Several times a week for a month, I took an at-home COVID test and uploaded the results, and then mailed a second sample to their lab, free shipping of course. The company intended to compare the results to see if their at-home test was equally accurate. This company's got some work to do, because my at-home test told me I did not have COVID on Christmas Eve, and by Christmas morning the hospital confirmed my body aches and chills were indeed COVID-19. But for my valuable feedback, I received a $250 prepaid debit card. They took eight weeks to mail it, which kind of upset me, but I do now have that card in hand. If you want to do clinical trials, start googling research groups in your area, and soon all of your social media accounts will be blown up by advertisers who want you to join their pipelines. As a side note, if you're broke as shit, consider selling your blood plasma to either Biomat, Biolife, Griffles, or CSL Plasma. You'll get at least $100 a week from pharmaceutical companies that use your plasma to make medicine. And this plasma should not be confused with whole blood. Selling plasma just entails getting some liquid taken out of your blood and getting your blood cells back. It doesn't make you weak or tired, you just drink some water afterwards and you'll be at 100% in an hour. When I used to sell plasma, I would run about two miles home right afterwards, if that tells you anything. Unfortunately, there is nowhere near my house that takes plasma, otherwise I'd still be doing it. But search your city and see if there's anywhere nearby for you. Overall, I reiterate my buy rating on clinical trials, but if this isn't for you, don't feel bad. Most people aren't willing to get injected with experimental drugs for money. And the last major bucket here, we have to address surveys. Every aspiring freeloader does online surveys at some point because they're easy to access and you get paid quick. Admittedly, there is some value here. Although most of the survey sites I've tried like Swagbucks, Angus Reed, Finger on the Pulse, Opinion Bar, they all kind of suck. Freecash has surveys, but the best use of that website is mobile games and apps. But the one survey app that really is worth your time while you get your freeloader fee under you is Adipole. Adipole lets you withdraw to PayPal with no minimum, and the surveys generally take less than 5 minutes instead of 20, so it's a good survey app. A lot of my subscribers have downloaded Adipole, and they've earned approximately $9,500 over the past 8 months. That's good, but I'd like to see my fellow freeloaders start graduating out to the other methods I described above. You can make about $4 an hour on Adipole, but it requires your full attention to take these surveys. Compare that to spending 10 minutes opening a bank account for $60 on free cash, or doing an $80 an hour focus group on user interviews. My recommendation is to use Adipole to wet your whistle while freeloading, but seek to move on to other services. Or if you're waiting in line somewhere for 10 minutes, get a quick dollar or two instead of scrolling Instagram. If you insist on doing surveys regularly, consider productreportcard.com as an additional option. You get 10 cents if you are disqualified from the survey, which is nice, and some of their surveys will get you into focus groups where you can earn more money. Product report card sucks in that the minimum withdrawal is $25 versus at a poll where it's nothing, but this is still worth checking out. Overall, I downgrade paid surveys from buy to hold and recommend focusing on other services. That's it for the buckets, but let's talk about a couple honorable mentions for those in certain professions. Number one is coin out. If you are a cashier or otherwise have access to a ton of other people's receipts, scan them on coin out for some additional change. I used to fish receipts out of trash cans so I could scan them and get paid, but my mother disparaged me. She said, Michael, you can't call yourself Mikey Millions, but also dumpster dive for discarded receipts outside Target. And I admit, she's kinda got a point. So I stopped using coin out after I hit $50. 
But if you can get lots of receipts in a more dignified way, use CoinOut and you'll get about five cents per receipt on average. Rich Nickards told me about CoinOut, so his referral is in the description. And number two is CoinApp, not to be confused with CoinOut. If you drive professionally as a truck driver or Amazon delivery guy, you can probably benefit from this app. CoinApp pays you in the cryptocurrency XYO to help them build some kind of geolocation software by driving around and pinging your location to them. You only get paid a few pennies per mile, but if you're driving all day for work, it's worth it. I made about 5,300 XYO coins in a couple of months, and at one point that was worth about $600. However, XYO is down and now it's only worth about $100. But XYO is on Coinbase, so it's a real liquid currency that might be worth mining if you spend enough time on the road, especially if you expect the price to recover. I work from home now, so I don't use CoinApp anymore, but my homie iKillzu told me about CoinApp, so his referral is in the description. This $1,300-ish is all good freeloading money, but my goal here isn't to collect gift cards. My goal is to buy a house so as to create my fiefdom. To do that, I need investable assets. So how do we get from gift cards to liquid cash? First, I need to liquidate these Amazon and Visa gift cards. If you have no way of doing this yourself, I recommend the subreddit R gift card exchange. On that subreddit, Amazon cards go for about 95 to 98% of face value. But fortunately for me, I don't have to mess with that. I met Joe Blackwood who agreed to buy Amazon and Visa gift cards for me at a discount as long as I kept bringing him continuous supply because he buys a lot of stuff on Amazon. That's a great deal for me since it saves me a ton of time. So I added up my $600 even in Amazon and virtual Visa gift cards and sold them to him at 90%, so $540. But then he sent me an extra 30 because he feels like he underpaid. So that extra act of generosity gives me 95% liquidation rate for $570. That all went into the Aspiration account. I also have another $100 transfer pending from a focus group that paid in PayPal. Next, I need to liquidate this $250 prepaid bank card from the COVID-19 study. This was a bigger pain in the ass than I expected. I figured it would be easy, I could just go online and deposit straight to my bank account. But it turns out the Bank of America prepaid interface has no means of doing that. So to avoid fees from a third party service, I actually have to withdraw cash at an ATM at the bank, then deposit the cash into the bank, and then transfer it to my Aspiration account like it's 2006. On Ledger X, I'm selling covered calls on Ethereum, and I anticipate using Bitcoin for covered calls in the future as well. I have a video on how to do this, and I strongly recommend watching that one as well. After all is said and done, my freeloader challenge accounts now look like this. I've got about 818 in Aspiration, with another 350 on the way, 950-ish in my trust wallet, 250 on Ledger X, and 50-ish on Coinbase. Altogether, this group totals about $2,400. I've still got a long way to go before I can afford a fiefdom, but slowly and surely, we are getting there. It could have been more, but the crypto dip has cost me big on Trust and Ledger X. If Bitcoin and Ethereum were still at last year's highs, these accounts would be worth well over $3,000. However, I still anticipate recovery, so the fiefdom mission remains intact. I invite you guys to join me on this adventure. Check the description of the video for our Discord group, and share in Theta Gang's bounty. I know this is ironic, but we also have a freeloader challenge group for Patreon supporters, which is mostly just me posting, so I'd love some company. Anyway, that's all for this time. Catch you guys in my next freeloading adventure. Thanks for watching.